appears to Moses from the burning bush. Moses asks God, who shall I say is sending me to the Israelites? What is your name? And we know what answer God gives. He says, I am. In fact, what he actually fully says is, I will be who I will be. It's not a name like we could have names today. His name translated in Hebrew is actually Yahweh. But the, the Israelites wouldn't speak his name. They would write it Y-H-W-H without the vowels, Yahweh. But they wouldn't speak his holy name. It's translated today Adonai. And in your Bibles, if you find the word Yahweh, it will be written Lord, L-O-R-D, all in capitals. It was a personal name. It means the God who was, who is, and who is to come, the Almighty. We see that in Revelation 1.8. It's the same God, a God who is personally known to us. When Jesus, the Son of God, came, he used the same name. He said, I am. And he referred to objects to describe his personal nature. He said, I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world, the door or the gate, the good shepherd, the resurrection and the life, the way, the truth and the life, the true vine. Ultimately, it's a statement of self-sufficiency, self-existence, and immediate presence. Because God does not need to rely on anyone or anything to exist, to be present, or to be free. Think about that. God just is. I am. So today I want you to ponder, what does it mean that we are loved by a God, a Saviour, who is, was, and will be forever? Let him love you because he does.